Hello world! I feel like uh, in like last January when I did this um, speaking challenge because I really don't know exactly what I'm going to be talking about. Um, but something that we could talk about is exactly the emotional process that I go through whenever I have to produce one of those videos. And I, I don't know, I have not prepared this, I've not done this before, but it's quite interesting because hmm, this actually can be a source of many interesting discussions. So, so if this is the time that it takes me to publish a video and, and this is how, how I feel about it. At the beginning I always feel like that and until I finally get started and then it gets like that. So it's always this curve. This is the valley of insecurity, of uncertainty, of um, being afraid of being exposed. Um, this is uh, around the time where I have to kind of choose a subject that I will be talking about. And then as I kind of say, okay, I have to do this, I'm going to look for a subject and I start brainstorming and I get so many ideas. And so that, that's not the hard part. To generate ideas is not the hard part. Um, it's really just uh, kind of committing to doing it and then as I really get going, um, the process just takes its own um, energy and I, I get really focused and into what I'm doing and then I'm just very enthusiastic until I cannot wait to finish it and to publish it and see what people will uh, say as a result. It's a pattern, it's almost always like this. This video is no exception. Um, I came home tired and said like, I don't really feel like what will I be talking about and now I'm doing it and it's fun and actually um, this topic is bringing me other ideas. So you see how this can be um, extrapolated to other activities you might make. So the, the hard part here is the beginning and this I also noticed um, in many areas of my life. I, I would like to distinguish two situations. One is where you don't know what you should do in life because life is complex um, and there are many directions that you could take. Um, there, there is another process that you need to go through to actually pick the right thing. But let's say that you have defined that this is the thing that you want to do and committed to it and so on. So you just have to do it. Um, then this is basically your major obstacle, right? Like I already committed to two videos a week, I don't need to ask myself, it's, is it the right thing? But then the temptation is there to not do it because I don't know what to talk about. It's useful to know this about yourself, to know that it's hard to start. Um, because if you know it, well then you won't be under the illusion that the whole task will be super hard. It's just really this emotional bump. But then this can be extended, this principle can be extended to a more general principle which I call emotional inertia. Let's imagine your day is filled with different tasks that you have planned. So imagine that this is the first task and as we said the, there is like now this is the difficulty that it takes you to get started. Now let's say two hours later you have to start doing something else. Um, and then again it takes you some energy to change and so on and so forth. Now multitasking is what happens when you have to kind of switch, um, switch tasks all the time. So the energy that it takes you to kind of get into something it never goes down. And so this is something that I learned a few years ago, I did an experiment. I could talk about that as well, but I'll do it in another time. I use the technique to kind of learn about myself, about planning, about how I plan. So what I learned from that is that um, these bumps for me are extremely high. And it's extremely frustrating to switch, which is why I tend not to do it. So this task lasts longer than these tasks last longer. And I end the day without having done all the things that I should have done. What I basically learned from that is I cannot plan my day this way. But the way I plan my day is I don't really plan the day. I have a list of to-dos and these to-dos are big things that usually take maybe a couple of days. 
And so basically what I do is I start working. I know, uh, I know my to-do, right? Because it's my one to-do and I work on this the whole day and maybe two days or three days. So that, that's the way I work the best. No context switching, no nothing. I just go deep into one thing until it's done. I think that's it for today. I hope this is useful for you and um, see you this Friday.